You are just, O Lord, and your judgment is right. Treat your servant in accord with your merciful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Dear friends, coming together to this Holy Mass, let us be mindful and aware of the Lord's uh, grace in our lives and the very formation of our conscience to know the right and to do it, to follow the truth and to obey it. And so, dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear, I say, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you, and from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them, and lend expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High. For he himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as also your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Yesterday I had the privilege of popping into our Father Joyce room and watching our good lector Mikey here uh, instructing the class on uh, the Mass and how good it was to see so many of you participating in that in that, um, in that faith formation activity, to plumb the depths of the faith and the teachings of the church, to enter into the richness of the sacraments, namely the Eucharist and the Mass, the liturgy and the work that we share with God. And I was encouraged because, because it shows this engagement on our part, busy with life, busy with different activities, giving of our time to come to know the Lord and the ways that He leads us on, the everlasting way, a little bit more intimate, intimately, a little bit more deeply. And it's given me to think, especially as we consider our society today, as we consider the fact of churches a little bit more empty, than they have been in generations past, that we recognize that, yes, there's something certainly lacking. And it is not so much a lack of faith, because each of us believe in something. The person who comes to Mass, whether just on Sundays or every day, the person who believes, who doesn't even step into the church, believing in something. Do they believe in God? Or do they believe in idols? As we heard in today's first reading. There are so many who believe. And that is a great thing. But is that belief well formed? Is that faith well directed? We can see in our society today how easily people come to believe merely in themselves, in their own power to save. They believe only in a thin piece of fabric across their face. 
or they believe in some governmental program that will raise them up out of poverty. But you and I are invited, indeed instructed, and, and ever formed, ever deeper and deeper, to believe that there is a God who leads us. There is a God who wills our good because He in Himself is the principle of perfect goodness and not merely a principle of human understanding but rather of divine origin itself. Indeed, even though there are so-called gods in heaven and on earth, there are, to be sure, many gods and many lords, yet for us there is one God, the Father, from whom all good things are and for whom we exist. And one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom all things are and through whom we exist. But not all have this knowledge. There are some who have been so used to idolatry up until now that when they eat meat sacrificed to idols, their conscience, which is weak, is defiled. And so, dear brothers and sisters, listening to these words of St. Paul and recognizing them as perfectly attuned to our own age as in his, let us be patient with one another. Let us be patient with those who struggle in faith. Let us be patient with those who do not know how to believe in a God who calls them sons and daughters. And as we exercise patience, as we stop judging and condemning, as the Lord is inviting us in today's Gospel, as we turn our other cheek, or as we give without expecting repayment, we do so so that we can open up a path for the other to come to believe. We do so so that in our patience, those who are weak in faith, those who do not yet know the great splendor and beauty in which we are invited and, and welcome to participate, may come to know one day. And how will they come to know? By our witness. By our love for them. By our words of instruction and teaching and invitation. How will they know of Christ if we do not speak of Christ? And if we do not know Christ well ourselves? And so, dear friends, we enter into this Mass and enter into this day with new hope and encouragement to receive what the Lord gives us and to be able to share that which we have received so that others may come to know, others may come to believe. Indeed, that we all may be made one in the Lord. Amen. Do unto others as you would have done unto you. Hearing these words of Christ our Lord, we know that the greatest gift that we can give is the gift of faith, the gift of the knowledge of Almighty God active in our lives. And so we lay down our prayers and petitions before our merciful God so that His will may be affected in our lives and in the world today.
we give you thanks for faithful according to the ways of holiness, according to the very teachings of your truth. And help us, clergy and lay alike, to always find you and find the way that leads to you. Let us always be intent on coming to know you and the truth that you propose through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit of contrite heart, I accept by you, Lord, my sacrifice and your sacred day, pleasing to you, God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, 
and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ. Christ. The body of 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 Christ. 
the body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Receive the communion of the Holy Spirit. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Receive the communion of the Holy Spirit. Receive the communion of the Holy Spirit. The body of Christ. 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 Receive the communion of the Holy Spirit. The body of Christ. Receive the communion of the Holy Spirit. The body of Christ. 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 body of Christ the body of Christ I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. As Pastor Lips is food, O Lord, may you possess and purity of heart that which has been given to us in time may be your healing for eternity.
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. And so as we are given over to Christ, as we consider all of the good things that come to us from God the Father, from God the Father, through God the Son, let us be ever aware of how our life is lived in this world, how we exercise our will with and through the very will that is manifest in the beloved Son that is Christ the Lord. That we as Christian faithful, brothers and sisters in Christ, are set apart, not out of a dignity that is somehow greater intrinsic to us, but according to a dignity that is given unto us freely and lovingly by a merciful and gracious God the Father. And so there is a distinction between those who would follow Christ and those who choose not to follow Christ. Even in the Gospel we hear how Jesus says, um, lend without expecting repayment, because even sinners lend knowing that they'll receive payment. He's acknowledging sinners as sinners, those who are apart. But He speaks to us. He speaks to every human person. And follow Him. He speaks to those who would believe as an act of belief, as an act of the will. And so we are set apart, not by any greater dignity that is ours intrinsically according to our own works, but rather to the dignity that comes to us in God. And so let us all, let us call all to that dignity. Let us call all to follow in the ways of holiness. Not because somehow we are better, but indeed because He is. And He calls all of us equally to that same gift. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, this in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, immaculate heart of Mary, St. John the Evangelist, all holy men and women, pray for us.